Hello friends and I hope you are all well. Welcome to another one of my videos. This one is a little bit different from the videos you've seen in the past. You may have seen a couple of days ago I put a post up onto social media asking if anybody would like to have a free tarot reading um, and I would be using this tarot reading as a marketing tool. So today it's the first of those videos so I'm going to do a little bit of an introduction as to what it's all about and why I'm going this route and um, what's actually taking place and then I'm going to go into the first sample reading for you to have a look at. So I am using new video software so forgive me if my eyes seem to be jumping all over the place while I try to figure out how this recording all works. Um, okay so I um, have been in the last couple of weeks completely completely overwhelmed with the quantity of people requesting guidance, help and assistance. And I am seriously restricted by time. Um, time is something I just am running out of and I just don't seem to have enough time. So I've been racking my brain trying to find a way of resolving the problem and being more available and being able to reach as many people as I possibly can. Um, I have been an avid tarot collector and tarot addict. As you can see, let me get the right hand on the shelf over there and there's a whole bunch of stuff over there as well. So I have been um, a tarot addict for many, many years now. I have been reading tarot for probably going on 20 years, if not longer. Um, but I haven't used tarot in my readings for many years. Um, I got to a point where every time I was turning the cards over, I realized I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Because I have that connection with spirit and spirit are giving me the information that I need. So in my face-to-face -face and in my telephonic sessions, I'm not using the tarot. I don't use any tool. My readings are purely whatever spirit give. As I said, the problem with that is time. Um, you know, if, if I'm seeing clients face-to-face -face from my home, um, you know, I, I can't book on an hour every hour. I have to have a bit of time in between because those of you who've been to me know I don't clock watch. I don't stick. If we go over, we go over. So I have to make sure that the appointments that I have are spaced far apart enough to give me allowance to go over time um, and for people who arrive early and all of that kind of thing. So I'm really restricted on the quantity of people that I can see in the day. Telephonics are a little bit easier because we don't have to have that time before and after. Um, so it is a little bit easier, but still we are quite restricted. So what I've done going forward is I now only see clients from my home two days a week and the rest of the week is allocated to telephonic sessions and to now tarot readings. So the tarot readings that I'm doing are a little bit different from the norm, if I may say that. So normally when um, tarot readers sell their services or sell tarot readings, what they do is they sell a tarot spread. So for those of you who are not familiar with tarot, a tarot spread is a layout. Um, so it's like a map that says in this place we have this and in this place we have that. Um, my, I don't have set spreads. I don't have set maps that I work towards. Gen basically the way that it works is once I have received your request and once I have seen you and connected with you um, and I know the kind of areas that you want to focus on or I know what's troubling you in your life at the moment, what you need guidance on, I will basically, using the help of spirit, I will basically put together a spread just for you. There may be similarities with a couple of other spreads that I've done, but typically it's going to be a spread based on you at this minute and your requirements. Okay, so, you know, a lot of people don't just have one area of life that they have a, a concern with or they need guidance on. Sometimes it's, oh, can I have a little bit of help with work and a little bit of help with family and a little bit of help with finances? So the spread will, will encompass all of that. So I asked on social media, as I mentioned earlier on, for uh, some people to post interesting questions. So the idea is that I'm going to put up a couple of samples so that you can see, because I know people are afraid of the tarot. I know people are petrified and scared because it's, it does have a lot of uh, um, history and there's a lot of people who don't really understand it and they're afraid of it. And I understand that. So I thought by doing this, hopefully I can make you see that it's not so scary and that tarot is actually quite phenomenal. So as I said, I am a little bit of a tarot addict and I do absolutely just love and adore the tarot. So those who have posted questions, thank you, because there have been quite a few on Instagram and on, on Facebook. So thank you for that. Um, during the month of August, I will go through at random and select questions that I think will show the 
readings in a better way, in a, in a good way. And those are the ones that I'm going to select. So if your question was, can I have help with work? Unfortunately, you're probably not going to get selected. The other thing that I'm going to do with those questions is, is I'm going to try and protect your um, identity. So I will change the names. So if your name is Mary and you've asked a question, when I do the sample reading, if I choose you and I do your sample reading, I won't be referring to you as Mary. What I will do, though, if your question is one of those that's selected, is I will send you a little inbox message and say to you, right, so I have chosen you. I have done your little sample reading. Um, and I have used the names A, B, and C so that you know which one is yours. So it will be done over the course of August as and when I have time. Back to the time issue. Um, and these will be used for marketing. So these videos, these samples that I do will be put on all my social media. And um, hopefully it will give you an idea on, on how it all works. Right, so I'm rambling. Let's get on to it. So we get this, this first one that I've chosen is probably the most common kind of question or kind of reading that we get and it's all about relationships so that's the first one i've chosen it's a, a relationship question about two people and the question is what's happening so i have done the spread i have put the card laid the cards out taken a photo i'm going to show you in a minute and then i'm going to talk you through and take you through the actual um the actual reading so what you're about to see now is not the full reading if you were to purchase a tarot reading this is not what you would get this is not just the couple of minutes that you would get you would get a little bit more in depth a little bit more detail but this is just a sample to give you a taster of what it's like and the kind of information that you can get from a tarot reading okay so forgive me now while i try and figure out my computer screen i think this is the right one Yes, I got it right. Okay, so you can see my mouse on the screen um, so that I can show you what I'm looking at. Um, okay, so the question is on the side over here, what is happening between Daniel and Jessica? Remember, I have changed the names, so those are not the, the actual names that, that were asked. Um, so what is happening between Daniel and Jessica? Or what is the status of their relationship? And what will happen going forward? So what I did based on the questions um what is happening between daniel and jessica question number one question number two what is the status of their relationship right so that's question number two and the third question is what will happen going forward so those are the three questions that were put forward and if you have a look what i've done here we have got the masculine on this side here we have got the feminine on this side here and i have got question one question two and question three then what i did is in the middle over here i added two additional cards just to feed the the reading itself and to feed the relationship just to give me a little bit more information so the first question what is happening between daniel and jessica so the first one we have the card that represents daniel in this instance here is the hierophant and the card that represents jessica over here um is the four of cups so the first thing that i say what is happening between daniel and jessica looking at the hierophant daniel is somebody who likes tradition he likes structure he likes things to be a particular way jessica on the other hand is a little bit bored okay she's a little bored with the relationship she's a little bit bored with how things are at the moment she's a little bit bored and frustrated with like oh my gosh is this what it is i can see with with this card over here that daniel is is quite strong he's the leader he probably takes a lot of control and he's trying to put the relationship into a particular kind of box Jessica clearly is not liking that. She's clearly not enjoying being stuck in a box. And she's feeling a little bit bored and irritated. The next question, what is the status of the relationship? So here we have, okay, the, the card representing Daniel, we've got the moon. So the moon is such an interesting tarot card. The moon is basically saying to you that you don't know everything. You don't, you can't, not everything is visible. You can't see everything. There's a lot of secrecy. There's a lot of hidden you know, um, stuff by moonlight always looks a little bit different. The moon is also about cycles, okay? So we've got all of those kind of elements coming through here. So Daniel is not being completely transparent. He's not being completely open. He's not showing his true colors in this particular relationship. So remember the question, what is the status of their relationship? Then on the side here for Jessica, we have the king of cups. So kings are all about control, dominance, um, about being assertive and making decisions and, you know, driving forward and, you know, deciding on the next step and all those kind of things. So that is what Jessica, who Jessica is at the moment. So the status of the relationship, Jessica's trying to control it. 
Daniel, on the other hand, is not revealing his true self. He's keeping so much hidden. He's keeping so much secret. So the status of their relationship is chaos. You know, if he's not revealing everything and she's trying to control and dominate, I can just, you know, they, they're missing each other, which would cause head bashing and conflict. Um, and what will happen going forward? So what we have over here is we have the devil. And I know everybody's like, oh, the devil, the devil, the devil. But actually, it's not so bad. The devil is all about temptation. The devil is all about breaking the rules. The devil is all about, you know, climbing out of your comfort zone and doing things a little bit differently, okay? Not always the good things, not always the right things, but, you know, that's what it is. So that's Daniel. So Daniel is probably tempted to break some rules at the moment. So what will happen going forward? That's exactly what the devil is saying, that Daniel may break some rules. He may do things that are not right. He may do things that are, are, are not proper for this particular relationship. Um, looking at Jessica, we've got the high priestess. The high priestess is all about emotion, in, intellect, um, spirituality, intuition, all of those kind of things. So Jessica, what will happen going forward is she is really going to try and nurture. She's going to really try and predict the next step in the relationship to adjust accordingly to get it working the way it needs to. Um, whereas Daniel, on the other hand, he he may just be falling off the wagon. He may be going and, and breaking some rules and doing things his way. Stubbornness is also a big thing that comes through with the devil, whereas the high priestess is all about emotion, inner emotion. Okay, looking at the two cards that we have in the middle here, because they do give us additional information with regards to the reading. So here we have the chariot. The chariot is typically what's called the movement card, okay? So the chariot is also saying to us, we need to stay focused. We need to know where our destination is, what we're working towards, and we need to stay focused. So it's telling us that both of them are not focused on the relationship. They're both focused on different aspects of the relationship, but they don't, they're not, they don't have a common path. They don't have a common path and they're not walking, working, sorry, towards the same destination which again is a problem. How can a relationship survive or work if everybody's on a different path, okay? Then beneath that now here we have is the magician. And the magician is such an interesting card because the magi magician tells you that you have everything available that you need to achieve the outcome that you desire. So it's telling us that this relationship is not doom and gloom. It's not over. It's not going to just end and everybody move off in different directions and everybody's happy. No, that there is positive here. There is success here. There is opportunity for growth here. But going back to the chariot, okay? So going back to this card over here, both Daniel and Jessica need to be on the same page. They need to know what they're working towards. They need to know where this relationship is going. If they can communicate and if they can be on the same page, then, you know, they have the makings of an amazing relationship because that's what the magician is saying. So looking at the two pillars, looking at the, the two columns of cards that we have, the one that represents um, the female and the one that represents the male energy, we can see that there are issues. There are problems in this relationship, but with a little bit of work, a little bit of communication and focused attention and knowing where we're going, they can actually make this work. So that is a sample reading. And I know that that particular reading happened in five minutes. When you order, if an, if you order a tarot reading with me, it'll be a lot longer than five minutes. It'll be a little bit more detailed. And typically you won't get a video. And the reason why um, I'm saying I won't be doing the videos just yet, I may change my mind in the future, but for now it's because of the amount of time it takes to set it up. So typically tarot readings, if you order with me, you get a photograph of the spread, a photograph of the cards, much like what you see over here, okay? And then you will get a voice note through WhatsApp from me giving you the interpretation, giving you the reading. So you can listen to it over and over and over again. Um, but in order to do a tarot reading, I do need to know specifics from you. If you want just general, if you want just, I can do just general, but it's not going to give you specifics. It's a, a general will be just on where you are in your life at the moment. I will do a sample on a general as well, but um, at, a, at a later stage. But generally speaking, to get the most out of a tarot reading, you want specifics. You want to ask specific questions to get specific answers. So friends, that is it from me. If you would like to order a tarot reading, if you would like to be put on the list for one of these, please contact me. You can either do it through through inbox. I do prefer WhatsApp. You know, again, trying to coordinate messages 
over so many different platforms is a little bit difficult. So I do prefer WhatsApp. I will put the WhatsApp number, I think, just about over here somewhere. I'm hoping that will work. I'll put the WhatsApp number there for you. So you're welcome to WhatsApp me. Um, the readings are done on a first come, first serve basis. So at the moment, there's probably three or four days delay for tarot readings. But obviously, as the demands come through, it may be a little bit longer. So that is all from me for today. Thank you for watching. And I do hope that um, over the, the course of the month, I will convince you all that tarot is the way to go. The tarot is awesome. Tarot readings are fabulous. There's no negativity. There's no fear. There's no any of those kind of things. So friends, have an amazing day with love and blessings. I look forward to hearing and connecting with each of you at a later stage. Until then, bye-bye. Take care.